In Excel you can easily create subtotals for your record sets. I will show you how to do that even more easily by using Excel VBA. Without Excel VBA you would probably do this. You would use the subtotal dialog box and specify your settings. The problem with this is that when you remove them all because you don't want to see the subtotals anymore, then you cannot undo that. So you have to start all over by doing this and calling that screen. So we are going to um, discuss how you can do that much easier with VBA. If this is your data set, your series of records, then the VBA code is going to allow you to specify what do you want to total. Let's say the salaries in this case. And how do you want to split your records by location. So you get subtotals for Boston and then subtotals for Cambridge, etc. So you end up with something like this. And you will see here I sorted first and I have all the Bostonians together and the total of the salaries in Boston is there. We get besides we get nice things. We are going to do all of this in VBA. We are going to regulate the outlines, etc. We will make a VBA code. I gave it a shortcut control shift S. So later on when I use that shortcut, it will automatically do the job. You need to know one more thing before we are going to create the code. How does VBA know that this is your data set, that it ends in column F and in row 19? It looks for the, bound, the boundaries in the empty rows and empty columns above and below and to the left and to the right. That region is called the current region. So if we can manipulate the current region, we can do miracles. Let's see what the code would look like. I, I called it subtotals, whatever you want. Don't forget to close your sub. Declare a few variables. First of all, three of the range type. What is your selection? What is your sorting range? And what is the total range? I also added two other object type variables for the active worksheet and for a new worksheet where we are going to put copies of the subtotals. And then I would like to know what kind of operation do you want to do? Do you want a sum, a count, a max, min, etc. And finally I use a variant type of variable. Why? Because a variant can also hold multiple values. So I'm going to use that one at the beginning to make sure that I store the original database in this variant. And then later on I'm going to reset the original database to the unsorted version. So things were the same as when we started. In this case I decided to do that on sheet 1, but that is completely up to you. We want that current region. And because we have to talk to it several times, we use a WIF statement. With active cell current region, that's the current region around the cell that you happen to be in. We are going to store in V unsorted, which is a variant, all the cells of the current region. The dot cells takes only the cells from the current region and stores them in V unsorted. We set the variable O sort of the range type to whatever you want to sort by and we use an excel input box application dot input box we ask by which which label do you want to sort let's say by default f1 make sure that the last argument is set to 8 so it returns a range for all sorters of the range type then we use that range and we determine how we want to sort the current region by O sort in an ascending order and set O total also to an input box return this time by which label do you want to sum or whatever you are going to do let's say by default D1 don't forget to put H at the end then we are going to ask what kind of operation do you want we use a regular input box This one only returns a string. 
And the user can type sum, count, average, min, max. By default, I put sum in there. And there is more coming that we are going to discuss next. This is what we have already. We are in the with statement. We have set the variable as operation to one of these settings. We use a select case for what did the user choose and select case sum. Then we want from the current region dot the subtotal operation based on O sort dot column. We want a sum one because that's what the user asked for, Excel sum. And we use the O total column array to do that subtotaling. If the user had chosen a count, then we use Excel counts. The array is the same, I just left that empty. But that should be O total dot column. For average, it would be an Excel average. For max, it would be etc. etc. If people have a typo there, just exit the sub for things will not work. Then we are going to uh, make a copy of these. Notice that I am here at outline level 2, so I see only the subtotals. And let's say I want to copy this to another sheet, just the subtotal summary. And then I could delete the subtotals. Be aware though that if you copy this, you also include the hidden rows between 1 and 9, 9 and 13. In order to prevent that, for with copying you would just get everything in between, we need to use the special cells operation. I only want the cell types that are visible. So that is what you would do in Visual Basic. Let's add that to the subroutine, to the macro. Set a active worksheet to the active sheet. Show the outline levels at level 2. The first one is the row levels. If you want to also regulate the column levels or only the column levels, you, you would do comma, etc. Then take all the cells from that sheet, entire column, and auto fit it so that they all nicely widen. Which range would you like to copy, we ask the user, with an Excel input box. Setting this to 8, it returns a range of cells, we put that in O select. However, if they cancel that input box, we will get an error message. So let's say on error resume next, that means if there is an error on the next line, skip it and go to this line. If O select is nothing, then exit sub. Set O select to whatever you had already selected in the input box, but only the visible cells. Create a new wor worksheet by adding to the collection of worksheets a new sheet. And we put that before or after something. I'm going to put it after the active sheet. We copy that O select, all those visible selected cells. Two on the new sheet, cells 1, 1, which is A1. We auto fit everything nicely. And we tell the user here is the copied summary on that new sheet. There is more, not, not too much anymore. So please bear with me. We change the font color to VB red. It's nice to have those subtotals in a different color. If the first row is not numeric, that means it's probably the labels, then let's set that to VB black. Do a nice auto fit again. Turn the cut copy mode off, otherwise you will see those dashing lines of what you had highlighted and copied. Select the active sheet again that we started with. Show three levels this time so I can see the details and the subtotals. 
I'm asking the user, do you want to remove the subtotals? Because you have a copy now on another sheet. If they say yes, then we remove the subtotals starting in range A1. And we set the current region of range A1 back to V unsorted. That was the variant that we had stored. So we have the original database back and not the sorted version anymore. Let's test the code. Here is our database. I use the Control Shift S shortcut for that macro that we just discussed. It asks me first, do you want to sort by label F1 or maybe by department? I'm going to say by F1. Uh, what is your calculating column? D1. Do you want to sum? I'm going to keep the sum. This is the subtotal vision on outline level 2. Which range do you want to copy? Let's say this. If you cancel, exit the sub automatically. I'm going to take this. And it says I copied that, not the hidden rows, but only the visible cells, into here. I'm going back to the original sheet. It's all done in VBA code. If I say remove the subtotals, notice that the subtotals are in color. If I remove the subtotals, it goes back to the original database from 1 through 18. I'm going to do it one more time. This time I saw it by column C. I do the salaries again, this time average. Which range to copy? Let's say this one. Okay, it's here is the copied version. Remove the subtotals. Notice that now it is done by department. And we have averages. I'm removing the subtotals and I'm back to my original database. And I have here the overviews at that moment. If you want to know more about Visual Basic, I developed for you a CD-ROM, Excel 2007 VBA. That still works for 2010 and 2013. It has three parts in it that are specified here. Uh, it has more than 1500 slides, so it goes extensively into all of these issues, it gives you examples, it has interactive questions, so you can test yourself. Where do you find all of this? You find it at MrExcel.com or Amazon.com, just type my name Gerard Verschuren and it will give you all the tools I developed for you. I wish you good luck.